I do find myself mirroring clients' styles. I think that's actually worked very well during presentations and frankly during the discovery process. So when people are leaning forward and engaged and using their hands, I find myself doing that and it's subconscious, but it actually helps open up that trust with clients when you're mirroring them and helps them feel like that you are really relating to what's going on in their lives. And then of course, if you see them starting to cross their arms, pull back, get a little bit nervous, you also can just slow down and say, all right, what's going on here? Let's figure out why you're worried. Why, what are you afraid of? And so I think really looking at who you're talking to and not just understanding what they want, but understanding their body language is a critical part about being a good advisor. It has everything to do with trust. And I'll tell you this as well. I've had the ones that we've won in the last couple of years have all told me, yeah, y'all all came in kind of close on, uh, on the fee side. You pretty much all have some of service uh, uh, a service model, the reason why we picked you is because you didn't come in with a PowerPoint presentation, you didn't have a stare at a screen and you just read off what, what was on uh, the screen itself. You just came in and sat down and talked to us as people one-on-one -on -one and figured out what we as a committee each had in terms of an opinion and built a consensus on what that might look like. And so you brought the, the personal aspect to it and I think that's whether it's retail or institutional, if you bond with those people that you're trying to interact with, more, more times than not, you get the business.